20 video lecture series. So, nasa last chapter na tayo ng trick topics natin. And in this video, we are going to talk about equations with trigonometric functions. So, isasolve natin yung mga equations na ito. So, ang tawag natin dito ay trigonometric equations. So, helpful na kabisado natin yung unit circle. Kaya, nilagay ko na rin siya dito for quick references na. So, uh, i-discuss natin to by solving examples. So, for our first example, well, let's say, we want to solve for theta in oops, ang kapal. Let's say, tangent theta uh, equal to 1. So, find all theta satisfying this equation. So, babalikan natin yung unit circle natin. Sino ba dyan ang may tangent na equal to 1? Diba si pi over 4? So, theta can be pi over 4. Tapos, lahat ng mga umiikot sa kanya, pag nag-add ka ng 2 pi, or pag nag-subtract ka ng 2 pi. So, that is 2 pi times integer k. And, there is another possibility. Ano isang possibility na maging 1 yung tangent. So, 1 yung tangent sa 5 pi over 4. Kasi pareha ang sine at cosine nun, oh. So, 5 pi over 4. And the same thing, mag-add ka ng 2 pi or magsusubtract ka ng 2 pi, kasali pa rin yun sa sagot. So, plus 2 pi k, where k is an integer. So, ito yung solution dyan. Ito lahat ng solution. You combine them. So, the solution set is at the set of pi over 4 plus 2 pi k, where k is in z, union 5 pi over 4, plus 2 pi k where k is in z. So, that is the solution. So, that is the solution set. And as you can observe, ang daming sagot, no? Infinitely many. Kasi magpasok ka lang nung magpasok nung mga integer dito. Infinitely many yung makukuha mo uh, forms ng sagot. Okay, so let's do another example. So, let us delete this one. Okay. So, number 2. Uh, solve for theta or give the solution set. For this one. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin, assign theta is equal to square root of 3 over 2. And, so, sino yung mga theta sa unit circle? na square root of 3 over 2 yung sign nila. So, yung second component, square root of 3 over 2. So, you have pi over 3 and uh, 2 pi over 3. So, theta is pi over 3. Theta, 2 pi over 3. So, magdadagdag ka ng mga 2 pi k. Where k is an integer. So, the solution set is the set of pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. k is in z union with 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. Where k is in z. So, that is the solution set. And as you can observe, uh, infinitely many yung sagot. No. Although, pag nakuha mo na naman yung isagot niya sa unit circle, makukuha mo yung the rest kasi you just keep on adding 2 pi k or subtracting 2 pi k where k is an integer. So, ang ginagawa natin, nire-restrict natin yung value ni theta para finitely may nilang yung makukuha natin. So, such as this example. Uh, in space. Okay, so example number 3, 
So, <laughs> 4 sine squared. Theta minus 3, 0 daw. Where yung theta mo, restrict mo sa 0 to 2 pi. So, hindi kasali si 2 pi. So, hanggang 2, mga less than 2 pi lang. Okay, 0 to less than 2 pi. So, ganun lang gagawin natin. We solve for sine theta. So, this is, sine square theta is 3 fourths. So, sine theta is either, uh, take the square root of both sides, you get square root of 3 over 2, or sine theta is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. So, since theta is 0 to 2 pi, sa unit circle lang yun. So, dito sa first case natin, theta is, um, Sino yung square root of 3 over 2? Lakihan natin ha. Pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. Ayun yung sign nila. Oops, can you see? And sa pangalawa, sine theta is negative square root of 3 over 2. So, nasan yung sa unit circle? Negative square root of 3 over 2, negative square root of 3 over 2. Ang angle mo is 4 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. And as you can see, apat na lang yung sagot. Yun yung silbi nung pagre-restrict para hindi masyadong marami sagot. So, pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. So, this is the solution set. Okay. Let's do another one. So, may examples ito. Mga sampo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kasi marami talagang cases and we have to learn this by doing examples talaga. Kasi there's no one way of doing it. So, for number 4, let's say cosine theta is equal to cosine theta, cotangent theta, where theta is, eto 0 to pi lang. Okay, nasa ng 0 to pi? 0 to pi, andito lang tayo. 0, kasali si 0, pero si pi hindi. Okay? Okay, so, uh, syempre, ang tingin ko una ninyong gagawin dito, kakancel nyo yung cosine both sides. But that is the usual error dito. Kasi when you cancel cosine on both sides, you are assuming that cosine theta is not 0. Pag nag-cancel ka, nag-divide ka ng cosine on both sides. So, parang nag-divide ka ng 0 kung cosine theta is 0. So, magkukulang yung sagot. So, ang ginagawa natin dito, nililipat lahat sa left para 0 yung kabilang side and then factor yung kabila. So, let's do this. Cosine theta minus cosine theta cot theta equal to 0. Let's factor cosine. We get 1 minus cotangent theta equal to 0. And then, equate each factor to 0. 0 or this one, equate to 0, magiging cotangent theta equal to 1. So, hahanapin na natin sa unit circle yun. So, sa 0 to pi, Kailan magzi-zero ang cosine? Magzi-zero siya kapag pi over 2 si theta. For cotangent, kailan siya magiging 1? Kailan siya magiging 1? So, 1 siya kapag theta is pi over 4. Kasi cosine over sine yung cotangent. So, we have these two solutions. So, the solution set is pi over 2, pi over 4. Okay. Yay. So, fifth example. Yes, we're halfway na. Halfway there. Thank you. <laughs> Nalipat ko lang to. Ano laki ng space na nakoconsume? 
any space. Hindi, zoom in ko naman siya mamaya. Okay, so next example, number 5. Um, solve for theta in 4 sine squared theta plus 4 sine x equal to 3. Pero ang x natin dito ay... Ah, ah let's use theta na lang. Okay. Theta is... 0 to 2 pi. Okay. So, yung theta mo dito lang doon naglalaro. So, medyo weird ito, no? So, ang gawin natin para hindi nakakalito, i-let something mo yung sine. Anong let? Let z na lang equal to sine theta. So, yung equation becomes 4z square plus 4z equal to 3. So, 4z square plus 4. Let us compute 4z. Is this factorable? Sana. Okay. So, parang, ano ba ito? 2z. 2z. 3, 1. Parang ito. Plus, minus. Okay, is that right? 4z square. Negative 3. Negative 2z. Plus 64z, yes. Tama yung factor natin. And then, equate each factor to 0. So, z is 1 half or z is negative 3 over 2. What is z? Sin theta. So, sin theta is 1 half. Dito naman, sin theta is negative 3 over 2. Okay, so sa first one, hanapin natin yung mga values ni theta that will make sine 1 half. Okay. Resize natin ito. Ayan. So, ang theta natin, 0 to 2 pi lang. So, saan siya mag 1 half yung second coordinate? dito sa pi over 6 at saka sa 5 pi over 6. Okay. How about for this one? Hindi ba suspicious yan? Ito, suspicious to, ba? Bakit siya suspicious? Kasi ang range ni sine, theta, is from negative 1 to 1 lang. So, hindi pwedeng lumabas sa negative 1 to 1. Itong negative 3 over 2, negative 1 to 1, andito si negative 3 over 2. Wala siya dito. Andito lang yung range ng sine theta. Kahit anong theta yung ipasok mo dyan, dyan lang malalaglag yung value ng sine theta. So, ibig sabihin, this part has no solution. Okay, no solution tong part ay no solution. So, the solution set is pi over 6 5 pi over 6. Okay? And next. Okay. So, pahirap ng pahirap yung mga questions. So, nagsisimula tayo sa madali sa pahirap na siyang pahirap. Okay, so number 6. So again, theta is 0 to 2 pi. Pero dito dinigris niya, no? But 0 to 2 pi lang ang ibig sabihin nun. So let us solve for theta in 2 tangent squared theta plus secant theta plus 1 equal to 0. So, let us compute for, for theta. Paano ba yung technique dyan? So, yung mga kinumpit natin kanina, isang trig function lang yun nandun sa equation. So, ang gagawin natin, pipilitin natin na, oily na mo. So, pipilitin natin na maging isang trig function lang ito. 
Well, in fact, yung tangent square, we can use the Pythagorean identity. So, note that a 1 plus tangent square theta is equal to secant square theta. So, tangent square theta is secant square theta minus 1. So, plug in natin. So, this one is this one. Okay, simplify natin on the ha. Plus secant theta, negative 2 plus 1, minus 1. So, ganun ulit. Maglet z tayo, equal to secant theta. So, meron tayong... 2z square plus z minus 1 is 0. Is this factorable? I don't know. Let us try. So, 1, 1. Try natin plus 1, negative 1. Will this work? 2z square, correct. Negative 1, yes. Negative z plus 2z is z. Yes, it is factorable. So, z is 1 half or z is negative 1. But what is z secant theta? Hindi tayo sanay sa secant, gawin natin cosine. So, the reciprocal is, is 2. Isa isa nga lang. Ba't hindi ba suspicious din to? Kasi ang cosine theta from negative 1 to 1 lang siya. Itong 2, wala sa negative 1 to 1. So, you cannot find any theta that will satisfy this equation. So, this part has no solution. Okay, this one. So, cosine theta is negative 1. Take the reciprocal of both sides. So, balik tayo dun sa unit circle natin. So, sino may x-coordinate na negative 1? Sa so, 0 to 2 pi. 0 to 2 pi. Ito yun. Sino may negative 1 na x-coordinate? Ito lang, no? Which is pi. And pi in degrees is 180 degrees. So, the solution set is 180. The set containing 180 degrees. Okay, na gets ba? Next. Okay, number 7. Ano lang tayo? Last 4 examples. Kaya natin to. <laughs> so, basically, kailangan lang alam niyo identities and memorize yung unit circle. So, number 7 na tayo. Okay. Uh, theta is from 0 to 2 pi ulit and we want to solve sine 2 theta minus 3 cosine theta is equal to 0 ah, kailangan maging isang ano lang yan no or kailangan may ma-factor tayong something but we have 2 theta here eto theta lang so what you can do is express mo ag lahat sila in terms of theta lang so, sine 2 theta is, from the double angle identity is, 2 sine theta cos theta. Uy, pwede tayo mag-factor ng cosine. Minus 3 equal to 0. And then, equate each factor to 0. For this one, pag in sa 0, we will get sine theta equal to 3 over 2. Hala, suspicious na naman to kasi sine theta lumampas sa 1. This is 1.5. So, it has no solution. Okay, so from 0 to 2 pi, 0, pero hindi kasali itong si 2 pi. Ano yung cosine theta equal to 0? Sino may x-coordinate na 0? Uh, pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So, 
So, theta is pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So, sa the solution set, is pi over, ah, it must be pi over, this is pi over 2. pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Yay! Number 8 na tayo. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, number 8. Uh, we have cosecant Ooh, 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Pero yung x natin, ni-restrict niya sa 0 to pi lang daw. So, ang gagawin natin, titignan muna lang to as isang buo muna. Okay? So, cosecant 3x is negative 2. So, hindi tayo sanay sa cosecant. So, gawin natin sign. So, sign, take the reciprocal of both sides. Negative 1. So, ang gagawin natin, 3x to, ba Isipin mo as theta lang yan. So, kailangan makumpit natin dito yung theta para malaman natin ilang ikot sa unit circle yan. So, multiply this by 3, we get 0, 3x, 3 pi. O, 3 pi daw. Gano'n kalaki yung 3 pi? So, this is 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi. So, isa't kalahating ikot. So, ilan dun sa isa't kalahating ikot will give you a sign of negative uh, 1 half. Okay, so our 3x will be, sino yung mga y coordinate na negative 1 half to the 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6 is the natin ha. Okay, so isa't ka lahat ng ikot, diba? Kasi 3 pi. May magpapanegative ba sa sign sa quadrant 1 and 2? Wala. Positive si sign dyan. So, itong dalawang value lang hinahanap natin. So, divide everything, divide this one and this one by 3, we get 7 pi over 18, 11 pi over 18. So, the solution set is, 7 pi over 18 11 pi over 18 Yay! Second to the last na tayo Okay Let's do number 9 Kaya natin to uh, 4 sin x uh, I want to use ibang letter. Ah, sige, alpha. 4 sin alpha cosine alpha equal to square root of 3. But our alpha here is from, okay, 0 to 2 pi ulit. So, for this one, magagawa mo lang yung factor ito, tas equate sa right hand side if the right hand side is 0. Kaso ito hindi 0. So, baka kailangan ng ibang paraan dito. Okay, hindi ba familiar itong sine times cosine? Okay. Sulat natin na gito. 2 times 2 sine alpha cos alpha. Ito is this one. Oh, di ba this is sine 2 alpha? Oh, magic. So, sine 2 alpha is square root of 3 over Kaso ang angle mo na, 2 alpha. So, kukumpit natin yung 2 alpha dito. So, mumultiply natin ito by 2 lang. So, 2 alpha is 0 to 4 pi. So, gano'ng kalaki 0 to 4 pi? Ilang ikot yun? 2 pi, 4 pi. So, sa dalawang ikot, ano yung mga angle 2 alpha which will make sign square root of 3 over 2. So, sa unang ikot, asa square root of 3 over 2 na y. 
pi over 3 and this one. Okay? So, pi over 3. 2 pi over 3. At magdagdag ka na lang ng 2 pi for each para makuha mo yung isa susunod na ikot. Ito at saka ito. Okay. So, pag dinagdagan ng 2 pi ito, this plus 2 pi 7 pi over 3 and 8 pi over 3. So, alpha, just divide everything by 2 or everyone by 2. So, the solution set is pi over 6, the set containing pi over 6, pi over 3, 7 pi over 6, 4 pi over 3. Okay? Yes! At number 10 na tayo. Ayan, magmuni-muni muna kay sa 9. Iniisip ko pa yung 10 paano. Charot. <laughs> <laughs> Sarot lang Kire ko yan che Kire ko yan Okay So sa number 10 Ang x daw natin Ay wala na uh, Anong letter? Beta na lang Beta raw is the angle From 0 to 2 pi uh, cotangent ito yung equation cotangent beta over 2 ok may cube cotangent square beta over 2 minus 3 cotangent beta over 2 plus 3 is 0 ok mukhang scary sya no ok mukha lang naman ok so gaya nang sabi ko sa class Kapag may parang mga nakikita kayo pa ulit-ulit, ililet mo lang yun ng some letter or some variable. So, parang dito, si cotangent beta over 2. So, let z equal to cotangent beta over 2. So, magiging z cube, z square, z Oh, and then, sana ma-factor natin ito. You can factor z square, I think. And for this two, you can factor negative three. Uy, factorable ito. So divide this and this by z minus one we get z square minus three equal to zero. And ayan, makukumpute na natin si, si Z. So, Z is 1 or Z is... Uh, pag in mo to 0 to, you will get plus minus square root of 3. Pag-iwalayin natin. And what is Z? That is cotangent beta over 2. Isa-isayin natin na. So, when Z is 1, I need space. Hindi tayo sanay ng cotangent, diba? Gawin natin tangent. Take the reciprocal of both sides. Ang pinag-uusapan dito is beta over 2. Pero ang binigay sa atin, restriction sa beta. So, di-divide lang natin ito by 2. Para malaman natin restriction sa beta. So, beta over 2 ay from 0 to pi. So, ibig sabihin, kalahating ikot lang yon, Ito lang yon. So, sino dyan ang magbibigay ng... So, this is beta over 2. Okay, somewhere nandyan lang. Magbibigay na tangent na 1. Hindi ba si pi over 4 lang? Yes, pi over 4 lang. So, beta over 2 in this case... Pi over 4. Okay, pi over 4. So, beta is 
pi over 2 multiply both sides by 2. So, that is one of the answers. Okay, next. So, tapos na tayo sa case na ito when z is 1. So, dito tayo sa z equal to square root of 3. Okay, burahin ko lang. So, z is square root of 3. So, cotangent beta over 2 square root of 3. Or, ang tangent beta over 2 square root of 3 over 2. So, sino yun? Sila yung mga pi over a same beta over 2 na andito siya. So, ang mga square root of 3 over 3 na tangent ay yung mga naka pi over 6. So, pi over 6. Okay, dito tayo, no? Hindi tayo pwede sa quadrant 2 kasi negative ang tangent. No? So, quadrant 1 na. So, beta is pi over 3. Ano yung mga sagot natin kanina? Dito, tangent pi over 2. Dito, tangent. Uh, theta pi over 3. Theta pi over 3. Okay? So, next naman. So, yung last case when z is negative square root of 3. So, tapos na tayo sa case na to. So, when ay So, when z is equal to negative square root of 3 cotangent beta over 2 is a negative square root of 3 which means tangent beta over 2 Reciprocal of this is negative square root of 3 over 3. At sa dito, sa unit circle na kalahate, kasi 0 to pi lang, ang beta over 2, uh, we will get that beta over 2 ay sin yung mga over 6 dyan. Tapos negative si tangent na second quadrant lang tayo. 5 pi over 6. Okay, so for this case, theta equal to 5 pi over 6. Ah, oops, it's not 5 pi over 6. Beta over 2 is 5 pi over 6. So multiply both sides by 2. So dapat, beta is 5 pi over 3. So over 3 lang. Okay, so let us erase. Although, pag ginagawa niyo yung solution niyo, hindi niyo kailangan burahin yung mga ang mga binubura ko. Binubura ko lang kasi wala akong space. So, the solution set is just collect all of them at ilagay sa loob ng set. Pi over 2, pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. Okay, so meron pa tayong mga sampung examples <laughs> Ay. Oops. Inahanap ko yung mga examples na ibibigay ko sa inyo. Nasaan eh? Hindi ko makita. Okay, so sa susunod na lang yung list of uh, examples natin or wait okay next next meeting na lang yung ano next meeting <laughs> email e next meeting online po tayo <laughs> okay so yung mga examples yung mga exercises natin ibibigay ko na sa email or you can email your discussion teacher for uh, the examples and that ends our discussion on a trigonometric equations. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.